Hey, um, Scarecrow Kaiser here. Um, this is the uh, start of that section I was talking about that I'm going to do every now and then where I talk about uh, Japanese cards from the anime that aren't real cards yet, but that we could look forward to and uh, discuss them and whatnot. So um, I figure I'd start with something a lot of people would probably be interested in, like possibly future Black Wings. <clears throat> Right. Uh, first one we have is uh, Blackwing Zephy Ross, the Elite. He's a level 4, 1600, 1000 defense, dark winged beast, uh, not a tuner. His effect is uh, you take 400 when this card is sent to the graveyard. And his other effect is by removing one card, by returning one card you control to your hand, you can summon this card from the grave. And this card has been summoned in this way, and is sent to, and you set a card face down. This card is destroyed. So, um, I guess you could bounce something, bring him back from the grave, sync with him, or something like that. You'd take 400 damage, but that probably doesn't really matter. Um, I guess you just wouldn't set cards before you'd want to, uh, play him. Like, I guess you couldn't really abuse him with, like, Icarus attack. Because you wouldn't be able to treat him, because when you set it, he would die. Um, but yeah, he'd probably be cool for Synchro Summoning, unless they change something about his effect. Um, probably not going to come up very much. The way they used him in the show was they abused him with, uh, Black Feather Dragon. Where they just kept sending a card and bringing him back, and Black Feather Dragon kept blocking it. So that they could get all their counters on Black Feather Dragon and do the most damage for him. <clears throat> yeah, that could be a cool card, maybe. Um, next is uh, Blackwing Kochi the Day the Daybreak. <clears throat> it's a level 4, 750 defense, Dark Winged Beast. This one is a tuner. I don't know what the point of this card is. It sounds pretty bad. Its only effect is... Uh, this card cannot be used for a synchro summon the same turn it's summoned. I don't know why you would ever use this. Um, this one is the most promising. Blackwing, Jet the Blue Sky. Uh, I, we didn't see what its attack was. It had 800 defense. It was a level 1 dark winged beast, not a tuner. And its effect was pretty amazing. Discard this card from your hand during either player's turn. To prevent a black wing you control from being destroyed. That's pretty amazing. Um, that's pretty pretty damn amazing. From effects battle, I guess you could play a dark eruption to abuse it more. Um, assuming he doesn't have much attack, so with war one out, you could search up with basically any black wing. <clears throat> yeah, that's about it for the uh, black wing guys. Um. Uh, can't think of any other super cool black wings. Um, on a related note, well, not really related, but um, there are, as mo prob some of you have probably heard, there's going to be a new addition to the rules soon, where they're adding it, the rule that you can have up to 20 cards in your synchro deck, and there's going to be synchro tuners now. You're allowed to have up to five of those in your extra deck. And um, therefore, the uh, Excel Synchro, which is where you take a uh, Synchro Tuner and a non Synchro Tuner, and you sing them together, summons these really big ass Synchro monsters called Excel Synchros. Um, we haven't really seen any of them yet that I know of, but in the anime, they had these ones, which came out like several months ago so probably a lot of people already know about them. I figured I'd talk about them anyway in case people were interested. Um, <clears throat> they had, they were called Tech Genius, like a series of cards called Tech Geniuses. Uh, they had Tech Genius Power Glad, Max 1000. He was a level 5 Synchro with two 2300 attack, 1000 defense, he was an earth warrior. His first effect was he had piercing, if he attacks someone in defense, steal deal damage. 
his second effect was besides also besides being a warrior he also comes as a machine this seems to be a uh, yeah, trend that all these guys have they they're their original type plus they're a machine they have like three or four effects that they all have in common one is they're all machine second is when any of them are targeted by an effect they lose half their attack so I guess if you're gonna target them you're probably gonna kill them anyway with the effect but I guess it gives them a weakness his uh, third effect is uh, which probably makes up for his weakness I guess is when he's destroyed draw a card and they all have these like three effects that they're a machine when they're targeted they just have their attack and when they're destroyed you draw so they're all like card troopers I guess sort of kind of cool um, others are tech genius wonder magician another synchro it's level 5 19 it's a light spellcaster and this one's a tuner um, tech genius this is the uh, big monster the Excel synchro I guess where you'd sync this level 5 and this level 5 tech genius blade gunner max 10,000 it's a level 10 earth machine and his effect is he has two effects they're pretty ridiculous I guess they would have to be for something so hard to summon his first effect is uh, during either player's turn you can discard one card from your hand to negate the effect of a trap card that's pr not amazing but pretty cool still don't have to worry about mirror force etc um, and his second effect is once during your opponent's turn you can move this card from play until the end phase so he could dodge attacks now that anyone's really gonna attack him because he's got like 33 attack and um, he could dodge effects like if they try to smash him he could just dodge it run away they'd get to attack you directly but you'd you're, he basically this card's not gonna die so that's pretty cool um, some other tech genius guys that uh, are this other support they haven't shown a lot but tech genius striker he's a level 2 earth warrior tuner 800 attack he's a cyber dragon and then he's got the same effects that they all do basically he's a machine if he's targeted he's half his attack Unlike the other guys, like the synchros, I guess the synchros let you draw when they die. The smaller guys, like this one, is when it's destroyed, add another copy of this card to your hand. So not, so he just he's kind of like a nimble, I guess. If he gets destroyed, I don't know when he's how you're gonna really destroy something this week usually, unless you like want to torrent to stop him from synchro something. Tech genius werewolf level three. Dark Beast Warrior, 1200 attack. His effect is when you special summon a level 4 monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. Blah blah blah. Machine targeted half his attack. If he's destroyed, add another to your hand. So I guess you would special summon the uh, Striker, and then you could special summon this guy too. Uh, Tech Genius Cyber Magician, level 100. Light Spellcaster Tuner. It can sync with guys in your hand. It's a machine. If it's targeted, it loses half its attack. When it's destroyed, another your hand. Tech genius rush rhino. Uh, apparently, don't know anything about it except it's a level four. Um, it's basically it for them. They sound like they could possibly be a cool series of cards that come out. Um, I guess that blade gunner sounds ridiculous if you get him out. He like wins the games, obviously. But um, those could be cool, and it's another thing to look forward to in the Excel Synchro thing. I think I forgot to mention, in case you didn't know, uh, you're allowed to Excel Synchro during the opponent's turn. You have your two guys that you can just sing them together whenever you want. Um, that's it for now, my discussion on these. Probably talk about some other sets of cards I've seen um, another time. So uh, that's it for now. Talk to you later.